In episode 11 of the final season of the Clone Wars TV series entitled Shattered, we saw a great scene with Ahsoka Tano on the bridge of a Venator. As she was traveling with the clone troopers to Coruscant to deliver the captured Maul to the Jedi High Council, Ahsoka was able to sense what was happening within Palpatine's office on Coruscant, hearing the moments between Palpatine, Jedi Master Mace Windu, and Anakin, where Anakin would ultimately make his decision to join the Sith and Dark Side to save Padme. Ahsoka heard and sensed all of it, and when it reached the point where Anakin did make his decision to save Palpatine from Mace, Ahsoka was overwhelmed by it to the point of almost falling over, as Anakin descended down his path with the dark side. Immediately, we see that while Ahsoka might not have known exactly what took place, there was no confusion about the turmoil Anakin was in, knowing he was significantly involved and causing her to become fearful for him. Even more, as Sidious then ordered Rex and the clone troopers to execute Order 66, Ahsoka raced towards him, telling Rex she felt something terrible had happened specifically to Anakin. Clearly, Ahsoka was concerned for Anakin, having sensed his actions all the way on Coruscant. The fact that Ahsoka could sense the chaos surrounding Anakin during this important moment, when it's not entirely clear if any other Jedi in the galaxy could, speaks to the strong connection Anakin and Ahsoka established through the years of fighting the Clone War together, with Ahsoka as Anakin's Jedi Padawan. This connection between them is explained within the Ahsoka novel. As Ahsoka recognized, when she meditated, there was always the familiar presence of Anakin within the Force, allowing her to sense him through their shared connection. Ahsoka's ability to sense Anakin just prior to his fall to the dark side seems to go even further than this as described within the novel, but still nevertheless demonstrates Ahsoka's ability to sense the presence of Anakin through the Force. So then it must be asked. Given that we know from the Rebels TV series, Ahsoka wasn't able to make the connection between Anakin and Darth Vader until almost two decades after their final meeting, why wasn't Ahsoka able to sense Anakin after Order 66, not recognizing he survived until only a few years before the events of Episode 4? As seen within the Ahsoka novel, Ahsoka did attempt to make use of the shared connection she had with Anakin in the aftermath of Order 66. However, there are two important reasons why Ahsoka wasn't able to sense Anakin and his existence in the same way seen just prior to him joining Sidious and the Dark Side. First, following Order 66, Ahsoka recognized there was a dramatic change in the Force. While the Dark Side had clouded the Force even before Order 66, Ahsoka seems to recognize an even greater change in its aftermath, where it was as if the Dark Side wrapped around her vision and hindered what she could perceive. In fact, this was so alarming for Ahsoka that she feared what she was unable to see during her meditations in the months that followed the rise of the Empire. For Ahsoka, she was unable to sense the Jedi as a whole, cutting her off from any of the Jedi survivors following Order 66, and demonstrating just how greatly her abilities in this area were affected. But what about the connection she specifically had with Anakin, and the presence she recognized was always there in her meditations? The novel explains that this familiar presence of Anakin was gone after Order 66, almost like a conduit had been disrupted to end the power it channeled. In this way, Anakin's presence had been cut off and could no longer be sensed anymore by Ahsoka. The overall impact of the dark side and the change in the Force would have certainly been important for this result, but I also think the specific case of Anakin for Ahsoka is more unique. It wasn't just that the Force changed, more clouded than ever by the dark side, but Anakin of course changed as well. Consumed by anger, rage, and the dark side, Anakin's presence within the Force would have been completely different than it had been previously, now defined by the presence of Vader, something Ahsoka wouldn't recognize. As Obi-Wan put it within the novel, Anakin had been destroyed, and if anything did remain of his friend, it was twisted and lost to evil. Ahsoka had a strong connection with Anakin and could recognize his presence in the Force. However, this was not true of Vader. This is why, even though they were in close proximity to each other during the Season 2 episode of Rebels entitled The Siege of Lothal, Ahsoka still isn't able to recognize Darth Vader as Anakin without the assistance of Kanan and Vader seeming to give it away as well, by noting The Apprentice Lives. And even then, Ahsoka isn't completely sure. 
The elements in the Ahsoka novel are depicted very well in the scene where Ahsoka could sense Anakin's actions on Coruscant and the danger that he was in. But despite the powerful connection between them that this demonstrates, Ahsoka was not able to sense that Anakin survived after Order 66. Because of the change in her ability to use the Force and the elimination of Anakin's presence in the Force that had been so constant for her, a result of Anakin's being consumed by Darth Vader. This scene within the TV series would be the last time Ahsoka sensed Anakin until Season 2 of Rebels, roughly 16 years after Order 66. So there we have it, why Ahsoka couldn't sense Anakin after Order 66. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below for updates and even more Star Wars content. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For the awesome duel it all led to.